Welcome to another video about Power BI Desktop. In this video, I want to show you a quite nice function, the column from examples function. Let's take a look. So I prepared this query right here with four different columns. So we have one column with different car manufacturers, one column with the headquarters of this specific car manufacturer, the number of vehicles sold in 2015, and when they published that information. Now this is interesting, but the more interesting thing is that column from examples function I just talked about. Because if you look at the different columns right here, you see that we have some problems. In the first column, for example, I would like to exclude the second word. So I don't want to have Volkswagen Group, but only Volkswagen. The same thing is true for Nissan and Renault. So to do this, we could now simply use a function like extract. We talked about that in our initial project video. However, with the column from examples function, we can do that really easily. So the only thing we need to do is, we need to select that column right here. Now go to the add column ribbon right there. And now select column from examples right here. If you click it in the lower part right here, and then simply select from selection, so only the selected column then, and press that, then this menu opens. Well, and with this menu, we have a new column right here this one. And in this column, I can now type some text. One example could be Toyota, right? So the content of the first column in this first row. If I then press enter, like this, then I see that nothing changed, right? So we still have Volkswagen Group right here, we have Nissan Japan and Renault France. But what if I now write Volkswagen in that second row and press enter again, then it gets more interesting, right? Because now Power BI understood that I only want to keep the first word. So basically the text that is left of a specific delimiter, in our case, the space. But nevertheless, if we now press control and enter, then we created a new column, which contains exactly the values that we want to have. Now, as I said, we could have done that with an extract function, for example. So there are more ways on how to get that result. But we can do more with the column from examples function. Let's take a look at the second column now, this headquarters column. So in this column, we have the different countries, but Japan right here, France right here, and Germany. There are some problems with this capital letters in it. I would like to get rid of those. And to do this, I could, for example, simply replace it. So I could simply replace the capital letters right here with the replace function. Or I can again use the column from examples function. Let's try it out again. So we again select column from examples from selection right here. And now we simply click right here into this row where we have that mistakes in the way Japan is written. And if we now write into this column, Japan, the way we want it to be, and press enter now. Then it gets more interesting, right? Because now Power BI understood that only the first letter should be a capital letter. And it also applied it for France, right here, like this, and for Germany, down there. If we now press again, control and enter, then we see that we have this new column again, now with the countries written correctly. So we now saw that we can use this function for specific delimiter operations and also on text-specific topics, like we saw it in this column. Let's take a look at another example. We have that published column right here. Let me select it again. What if I want to know on which day this data was published? Let's again select the column from examples function and again from selection. And now I know that the 11th of May 2016 was a Wednesday. And if I write Wednesday right here, oops, like this, and press enter, then you can see that Power BI immediately understood what I want to display right here. And based on the information it has in that column, so the date, it was able to now retrieve all the corresponding weekdays of the remaining dates. This is also nice, right? So we can also use that function on date operations. Let me show you one last example where this function might be a big help to you. So what if I want to combine two columns? Let's say you want to combine 
the part of manufacturer column and the headquarters column. Well, to do this, we simply again select column from examples, but now we could also select from all columns, like this. If we do that, we now simply need to look for a value in a column that we want to start with. In our case, I would for example use Nissan, because this is something that we corrected, so we have Nissan right here in the corrected form, and right there in this uncorrected form. So if I now refer to Nissan right here, then Power BI knows that the manufacturer should be retrieved from that column. So let's go to Nissan then and write Nissan like this. And now write the headquarters, Japan. Press enter. And again, you can see that this worked perfectly. And if I now press control enter, we have an additional column. So we also know that we can combine columns with that function. But I want to combine that columns even better. So let's select it one last time. So the column from examples function and from all columns. And now select Nissan right here and write Nissan. And now I will simply add is headquartered in Japan. So we have Nissan, which is an information we have in this column. We have the headquarters, which is an information of this column, and is headquartered in as a simple text. If we now press enter, we can see that this also works. And if I now press control enter again, we also have this column created. So this is it. This was just a little example on how to use this column from examples function. So maybe this helps you sometimes when you work with Power BI Desktop. And the only thing I can say right now is thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.